I'm Brad Nessler, here along with two of the best commentators in the game, Kirk Herbstreet and... Awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. And they'll be returning this one. Number 24 takes it at the 8. If you like passing yards, then you're in for a treat. Today we get to see a very skilled quarterback dissect a defense that's pretty weak at cornerback. Oh, he could be in for a field day. He's not going to face two starting corners much weaker than this. I expect this young man to have a big day moving the offense. Kirk, you're absolutely right. He's a special player, and I think we're going to see him complete a lot of passes with ease today. First and ten. Ball right around midfield. The Ducks line up in an eye formation. And he's going to lose yards on this one. That'll be a loss of one. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. From the gun. Here's a little draw play. There's a missed tackle. Here he goes. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown, Oregon. Don't get too excited at home, folks, because I think this one might be coming back. Here it is. So that penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they could just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. Second and long, ball on the 36. The Ducks set up in the gun. He drops back, looks, feeling the pressure, and it's caught, and down he goes. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. Passing situation here on third and long. Ball on their own 37. Oregon lines up for the shotgun set. Looking, rolling out to the right side. Fires across the middle, and he's brought down. What an amazing catch, first down. Boy, Brad, you said it. That is a big-time play there. Spectacular catch and great body control there on the long pass reception. First and ten, and this is the fifth play of the current drive. Number 11 comes to the line with three wide. He's looking. Wants to throw outside. Complete, and he's shoved out of bounds. Short pass there, and they get a moderate gain. There's nothing wrong with nickel and diamond him down the field. As you can see, they have really had some difficulty getting the ball down the field. You got that right, Brad. These guys had better step it up and execute when they have the ball, or else it's going to be a long day. Look. And it's incomplete. With that pressure, he just couldn't do much with it. His chance of accuracy on that throw was practically zero. Good job by the defense. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. The Ducks, with four receivers, throws off his back foot. Brings it in. Touchdown. Look at that. For a second there, I could have scored that back at the football. Beautiful play. Yeah, I don't know if it was the offensive coordinator, the head coach, or just the quarterback checking off. But my hat goes off to whoever called that play. Come out in the ace formation, looking. Throws this one out to the right. Caught it, and the conversion is good. This drive summary is brought to you by Pontiac. Oregon, ready to kick this one off. Kicks it off. Number four, takes from the 10. 
And now we'll see the offense come out out of the field for their next possession. They'll start this drive at the 21. Arizona comes out with an eye formation. They'll give it off here. And they make the stop. A five-yard pickup for the tailback. Second down and five. Ball on their own 26. Number 14 is back in the gun. Drop back to pass. He's got to throw it in a hurry. Throws. Incomplete. And he overthrew his wide receiver. I don't know too many seven-foot guys play football, so maybe he should aim lower the next time. It's third down and five to go. Ball on the 26. Three wide outs here. Back to pass. Comes across the middle. Got it to him on the run. First and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. Going with the shotgun here. He drops back. Wants to throw outside. And he dropped it. Dropped by the wideouts. Number 83, the intended receiver on the play. Second it's second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 36. The Wildcats come out in the ace formation. And they hit him in the backfield. And they'll lose a yard there. One yard loss on the play. Look at how dominant they've been on defense. Well, I'll tell you, as an offense, you've been pretty successful if you can even sniff the end zone against these guys. Whoa, they're one of the best in the country. Just look at those numbers. Steps up in the pocket. He's looking. And he's going to come up with a sack. He's going to come out. It looks like he was hurt on that last play. Yeah, I don't think it's too serious, though, guys. He's a tough athlete. I think we'll see him back in this game. The Wildcats are lining up to punt it away. He gets it off. Number 31 fields it at the 35. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll set up shot at the 50-yard line. The Ducks come out in the ace formation. They hand it off. And down he goes. They keep it on the ground, and the halfback gets about seven yards. After a quarter of play, our score is Oregon, eight, Arizona, nothing. Second and three coming up, ball on the 43-yard line. Oregon goes with the ace set here, and they'll run him again. He can scoop. Brought down. And the halfback ripped off a nice game there to get him the first. Hey, this kid's a good-looking back. Let's see if they go to him again. First and ten. Ball on the 25. Number 11 comes to the line with three wide. On the ground with the tailback. A gain of eight on the carry. Oregon is one of the best teams in the country at getting points once they enter the red zone. You're absolutely right, my friend. This offense knows how to close the deal put points on the scoreboard. And now he's got room to run. And he's taken down. A big game for the halfback. You know, when we talked to the coach yesterday, he said they were going to run it over, up, and around this defense. Well, here they got a nice gain on the old toss play. The Ducks go with the eye formation. Give it off here. Touchdown, Oregon. Nice job by the running back getting in for the touchdown. a fake he's got the two so with just over two minutes left in the second quarter our score Oregon 16 Arizona nothing Oregon to kick number four and number one back ready to return kicks it off 
number four. Fields it at the nine. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. They'll get the ball here at the 22-yard line. Arizona lines up with three receivers. Inside handoff. Tackle. And that one goes for a big, big first down. You know, every time you run the ball successfully like that, that defense starts to creep up a little bit. That's when you go to the air, my friend. Over the top. It's first and 10. Ball on the 34-yard line. The Wildcats come out showing three wide with the throw. And some daylight. They'll bring him down. Arizona takes a timeout. Second and three coming up. Ball on their own 41. The Wildcats line up with two tight ends. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Feeling the pressure. It's high, and he makes the catch. To the 10. Touchdown, Wildcats. What an impressive call. I can hear the defense yelling run all the way up here. Boy, did they fall for that one or what? And he tacks on the extra point. That score leads us to our Pontiac drive silver. Arizona lines up for the kickoff. Number 19 and number 24 back to return. Here's the kick. Number 24 fields it at the 11. The run game was a big factor in this offense's last drive when they got down the field for a touchdown. They'll go to work at the 40. Number 11 with three wide receivers on the ground with a tailback. And they got him for a loss. The defense comes up with a good play to pull him down for a loss. A nice call by the defensive coordinator. It's like he's in their huddle sometimes. Arizona has a defense that... Well, it's just plain bad. Have a look at the numbers. Yeah, you're being kind, Brad. They can't stop anybody. They better start tackling better. It's going to be another long day. He breaks free. Jets that one. And down he goes. That play just sets up perfectly. That's because the defense didn't think it would be run twice in a row. It's almost like saying, if at first you don't succeed, try, try it again. Well, this one is, if you succeed, run. Run it again, sweetheart. First and 10, ball on the 37-yard line. Oregon goes with the ace set here. They go with a run. And now he's got room to run. The 10. How about that run? There you get a glimpse of why this tailback is on everybody's short list of Heisman candidates. He just is a phenomenal athlete. Yeah, don't forget, he's such a great young man as well. When you sit down and have a conversation with him, you'll be very impressed with him. The pressure turns up when in the red zone, and that's when you turn to Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. Let's see if they can take this one in for six. Again with the run, and that's his second rushing touchdown of the first half. And the head coach has to love the way this kid is running the football. two they got it less than a minute remains in the second quarter and our score is Oregon 24 Arizona 7 number 36 is lined up to kick this one off and they'll be returning this one number one takes it at the four the offense with a lot of success through the air on that last drive as they moved it down the field for the touchdown. They'll take over at the 20. 
Number 14 comes to the line with three wide, and he stopped behind the line. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed it. The Wildcats go with the eye formation. Another run. Tries to juke. Brought down. A gain of eight on the carry. It's third down and three to go. Ball on the 27-yard line. The Wildcats line up in an eye formation. As they head to the locker room, it's been a one-sided affair. The score, Oregon 24, Arizona 7. And the teams are lined up to start the second half. Number four, back deep to return. Kicks it off. Number one, fields it at the seven. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll set up shot at the 29-yard line. This is the kind of running back who can make you pay when he's in the zone. Here's the option. Now he pitches it. Loose football. Looks like a defensive lineman might have it, and he does. That time the option play is the cause of the fumble. The offense put the ball on the ground, but give the defense credit for jumping all over. Yep, that was some heads-up defense. They'll start this drive at the 23-yard line. Oregon comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. They run a counter. Tackle. Seven yards there. Have a look at our Old Spice Red Zone numbers. Red Zone, when performance matters the most. They come out with three wide receivers. He gets another carry. And they make the stop, and they keep it on the ground for the first down. Nothing too fancy here. The key is that the running back was able to convert the first down. It's first and ten. They're in the Red Zone. This impact tailback would love nothing more than to have the ball in his hands right now. Here he goes. Touchdown, Ducks. That was a fantastic touchdown run by the halfback. This guy was very impressive. When he had the ball in his hands, good things always seemed to happen. Not what we expected, but it's the coach's call, and he wants to go for two. He's looking for his man. It's dropped. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Number four, back to return. Kicks it off. Number four, fields it at the two. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll get the ball here at the 20-yard line. Arizona goes with the ace set here. Drop back to pass. Down the middle. The ball is tipped. He's right there for the interception. That interception will be credited to the linebacker. Way to come down with that football. That was not an easy play to make. But that's just great hands for a linebacker. He looks pretty good out there catching the football. And they'll look to capitalize on the good field position here. First and ten. Number 11 with three wide receivers. They'll throw on first down. Comes across the middle. They'll bring him down. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. Have a look at our Old Spice red zone numbers. Red zone, when performance matters the most. The Ducks come out showing three wide. On the ground with the tailback. He does it again. That gives him four rushing touchdowns on the day. Yo, four scores is pretty darn good. Just ask Abraham Lincoln.
And the extra point. No, no, it's a fake. He's in for the conversion. So we take a moment to check out the Pontiac drive summary. Oregon to kick. Number four and number one set to return. Here's the kick. Number 87 fields it at the 30. Well, before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll take over at the 34. The Wildcats line up with three wide. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. He tosses it short, and it's caught, and he's taken down. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision-making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. The Wildcats line up in an eye formation. Inside handoff. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. That'll be a loss of one. One yard loss on the play. Second it's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 46. Arizona lines up in a double tight set. There's a play fake. Looks. He rolls out to the left. Throws it to the outside. He overthrew his tight end. I know the tight end has a little more height than the wideouts, but give me a break. Third and 11. Ball on the 46-yard line. The Wildcats line up with three wide. He drops back. He steps up, looking, and he's going to come up with a sack. He may have been seriously injured on that play. Number seven, Allen and quarterback. Fourth and long. Ball on the 40-yard line. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. He gets it away. Number 31 fields it at the 22. Bounces off the would-be tackler. Across midfield. At the 40. At the 30. To the 20. To the 10. Goodbye. He returns it all the way to score. Oh, that's going to get the old heart pumping. I'll tell you what, the special teams coach has to be very proud there. That play was designed perfectly and even executed better. The kick is no, it's a fake. And they won't get the two. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Number four, back to return. It's a high short kick. Number 87 signals for a fair catch. He hauls it in at the 34. The offense comes back on the field, hoping to build off their last drive. It's all about execution, my friends. We saw them move the football, but they were unable to move it when it mattered most. But Lee, I think you have to give credit to this defense. They tightened up when they had to, and they're going to look to do the same here. Here's the give. Tackle. A two-yard run by the halfback. Gain of two on the play. It's second down and eight to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. Number seven comes to the line with three wide. He'll dump this one off. He has some room. At the 40. He's all the way down to the 32-yard line. Wow, nice catch. Way to look it in. Heck of a job by the wide receiver. These guys are moving the ball down the field. First and 10. Ball on the 32-yard line. The offense better get that defensive tackle blocked up. He can make plays. And that one's fallen incomplete. And he overthrew his wide receiver. I don't know too many seven-foot guys play football, so maybe he should aim lower the next time. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 32. The Wildcats come out in a shotgun. Back to pass. Wants to throw outside. Complete. About a seven-yard pickup that time on the pass. As we go to the final quarter of play, this one is almost wrapped up. Our score here, Oregon 44, Arizona 7. We've got third and three here. This is the fifth play of this drive. 
They come out with a big set. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. He'll dump this one off. He's got the fullback. He ignores the footsteps and makes the catch. The offense has had one heck of a time getting the ball down the field. Well, this hard those defense is creating a lot of problems for these kids. They're pretty much shutting them down. They line up in an eye. There's a play fake. He's looking. Rolls right. Wants to throw outside. Incomplete pass. So it's second and ten. And this is the seventh play of the current drive. Arizona lines up with three receivers. He drops back, steps up, pressure coming. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Now that's some heavy pressure. It all starts with the battle up front. I don't care how good your receivers are or how explosive your running backs are. If you can't control the line of scrimmage, then it's tough to move the football. I agree, coach. And the thing is, this quarterback can make some plays for you if you give him enough time back there to throw. Well, it looks like he's going to have to figure out how to make plays without time. Number seven with three wide receivers. Back to pass. Looks. He's rolling left. Look out. Got his man. Brought down. They'll get a good chunk of yards on that play, but they're still looking at fourth down. Maybe that will perk these guys up a bit and get them going on the next drive. The Wildcats line up with two tight ends. Setting up the play action. Goes to the end zone. And they couldn't hook up on that one. They turned the ball over after going for it on fourth down. Yeah, but they still made the right call. At this stage in the game, they'll try anything to get back in it. They'll go to work at the 11. The Ducks come out of the ace formation. Inside give. He's got an opening with the spin, and he's taken down. And that was an excellent run there. Yeah, Brad, but it was also great blocking up front by the offensive line to open up the hole. First and 10, ball on the 31-yard line. The Ducks come out of the ace formation. The counter. And he's tackled. And not too much there on that run. Not too much, but the key here is try to milk as much time as possible. Second and seven coming up here. Ball on the 34-yard line. Single set backfield. Inside handoff. Spin move. Here he goes. At the 40. And he's all the way down to the 26. That last run catapults him over the 200-yard mark for the day. What an exhibition of skills this running back in the offensive line is showcasing here today. First and 10, ball on the 26. Oregon goes for the ace set here. There he goes. He spins, and they make the stop. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's check out the penalty. That's frustrating for a coach when you preach fundamentals every week and then have someone called for clipping. That penalty really is going to set them back. Oregon comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Looking. Rifles it over the middle. Got it. The 10. Touchdown, Ducks. Come on, sweetheart. What are you doing? You don't have to rub it in like this. Yeah, coach, but then again, it is their job to stop this offense. I mean, they can't help if their plays are working so well. Well, if that's the case, then I hope they schedule these guys again because there's nothing sweeter than getting revenge on a team that likes to run up the score. The kick is no, it's a fake. He's got the two. Here's the Pontiac Drive Summary, bringing you fuel for the soul.
Oregon ready to kick this one off. Gets it high up in the air, not a lot of distance. Number 81 calls for the fair catch, and they make the fair catch at the 32. Their last drive ended when they decided to try for it on fourth down and were turned away by the defense. They'll set up shop at the 33-yard line. They line up in a double tight set. They go with a pitch to the right. Across the middle. And down he goes. So the trick play gains them a couple. Second and four coming up here. Ball on their own 39. Arizona comes to the line with three wide. He's looking, rolling out to the left side. He decides to run with it. Tackle. He made a real nice play on that one. I'll tell you what, in today's game, you have to have the ability to run the football. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He made a great play and really gave his team a boost. And this ball game's over. Any final thoughts on this one, Coach? I can't say enough about this performance. Oregon looked like a team on a mission to destroy anything and everything that got in their way.